So in this first part of uh, Colossians, Paul's kind of pointing to them to the hope that we have in heaven. Um, and he uses a phrase, good news, to describe this hope. He uses it twice in two verses to describe the hope we have in heaven. And the phrase he uses, good news, is the Greek word evangelion. And this word evangelion means the best news you've ever heard. And so when they heard that word, hope and good news mixed together, when they heard those phrases, they knew that this was something that was beyond any news they'd ever heard, that this was something that was beyond their level of even earthly excitement. And so the word evangelion was used to describe the enthronement of a new king. It was used in times when new kings would take thrones. It was great news. They would send heralds out to all the territories and they would say, a new king is on the throne. And that was the best news that they could ever hear in those days because kings were known to be tyrants, specifically the Roman Empire. Emperors were very um, uh, brutal and uh, they tortured people at their own leisure and they were unjust and unfair. And the church at Colossae kind of lived in this climate. They lived in this fear. They lived under the, the oppression of Rome. And so the hope of a king that would be just and a king that would be fair and a king that would rule with love and mercy would have been the greatest news that they could ever hear. And so Paul's pointing them to a king in Jesus whose rule of peace and justice and mercy wouldn't just be temporary on this earth, that he wouldn't just replace Rome um, in a temporary regime that they would build up as Christianity, but that this reign of this King Jesus would be eternal. So the hope in heaven is the good news of us being made right with God through Christ our King and his reign of peace and fairness and justice and mercy being an eternal reign that goes on forever um, into eternity.